Paul Kearney, and I'm a professor of neurology and pediatric neurologist at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. I'm very excited today to, uh, to meet with you and to share with you some of the exciting research that's ongoing in my laboratory and in the laboratory of Ben Philpot and Ben Gu here at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Um, we were recently awarded um, a project to, to look at the effects of uh, cannabidiol or CBD on seizures in uh, a preclinical model of Angelman syndrome. Approximately 8 out of 10 children and adults with Angelman syndrome have seizures and this is very little understood. Now I first became interested in CBD or uh, cannabidiol when a young child named Leanne first came to me in one of my outpatient clinics and Leanne had a very good friend called Charlotte who lived in Colorado and she had learned that Charlotte was uh, using this new marijuana based drug uh, called Charlotte's Web as we later know and it was really helping her seizures and um, she wanted to know what I thought of it and my, my simple answer was I really didn't know and I wasn't sure if it would work I wasn't sure if it was the right medication for her and most importantly I wasn't sure if it was safe. Um, as we've seen over the past couple of years there's been a, a huge incre increase in the um, in the number of children and adults that have been exposed to uh, cannabidiol or THC or marijuana type projects for a variety of syndromes. And Angelman syndrome is no exception. Now as a scientist as a clinician and as a, as a parent, I think it's very important that we try new medications to help our, our, our young patients, but that they be safe. So I'm very excited about this project because this is actually the first uh, study that I'm aware of where we're actually having an opportunity to test the effects of CBD on, uh, on seizures and on behavior in a well-controlled animal model of CBD. The Ben Philpot Laboratory and collaborators have made substantial inroads in helping us understand the underlying mechanisms of, uh, of Angelman syndrome. And so my laboratory and my group takes advantage and leverages that expertise around creating what I view as a very exciting uh, potential therapeutic for children and young adults who have uncontrolled seizures. We also think that it may have positive effects on other behaviors that are commonly seen in children both with Angelman syndrome and possibly with autism including problems with adaptability, behavior, and sleep. So I want to thank, personally thank the Angelman Syndrome Foundation for this very very generous gift and we really look forward uh, to seeing how the research comes out and how we can translate this important research from the bench to the bedside, from preclinical models to human beings. So thank you again.